made me feel just like really lucky, just really, really, really lucky and I'm just so grateful. They've taken this young girl who was just figuring stuff out and given me a platform and given me hope. I've really struggled sometimes with how it's completely changed my life and every year coming back here and being with all you guys has really made it all worthwhile. My heart is breaking. <laughs> I love this show. Oh. It was bittersweet to see Kit crying and, and um, all these other actors, you know, so emotional and, and the crew members who we've worked with for so long. One of the crew, Lawrence from Special Effects, had given me a ring. It's a dragon head and a wolf head and every day I'll look down at this ring and it will remind me of the amazing, outstanding, best crew that anybody could ever wish for. It was a world that had a remarkable consistency and tremendous amount of love. And so I will miss my Game of Thrones family more than anything. <laughs> you kind of put it in the, the emotional to-do bin and just kind of realize that over the course of the next year or two years or 10 years, it'd be something that you were that you're kind of working through. It was a band of brothers and sisters. And you know, that's something that you just never will forget. I love you, people. I love you. We just had so much fun over so many years and made so many good friends. No matter what, I will always look back with immense pride and a little smile on my face. I'm a cynical, buttoned-up Englishman, but I have warned my friends and Rose that if they let me keep this costume, they might find me on the odd night in the garden, drinking neat gin, crying, dressed as Jon Snow.